Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to review the Sculptfun S30 desktop laser engraver. Without further ado, let's get into it! This is the newest machine by Sculptfun and it comes in three variations, the S30, the S30 Pro and the S30 Pro Max, with the only difference being in the power of the laser module. I received this machine free of charge with a request to review it. However, I'm not being paid for this review and as usual, I like to keep my uh, video reviews unbiased. Therefore, all of the information that I'm going to provide you uh, in this video, uh, they represent my honest opinion about this machine. And as a such, I will also share what I like and what I don't like about it. This is an entry-level machine, meaning that it's targeted to hobbyists who wants to put their hand uh, in the laser engraving industry. Said so, the machine is packed with a bunch of features that set it apart from competition. And despite being a 5 watt optical power machine, it is certainly capable of handling engraving on most materials and cutting thin sheets like playwood, acrylic and similar. As usual, I'm breaking down my reviews into sections so that I can cover uh, all of the aspects of these machines. Uh, and try to provide you with all of the information you might need if you are uh, shopping around to buy one. At the end, I will then share the pros and the cons, or what I like and what I don't like about this machine. The design is standard for this cheap entry-level machine. You get a frame made out of 2020 extruded aluminum profiles with rollers. And here we see the first feature that set this machine apart, and that is the use of linear rails for the x-axis Movement. which is normally found on higher hand or industrial machines. This allows the machine to run smoother and ultimately be more accurate. As for the adjustment of the uh, laser module, in particular the head of the laser module, we see a fairly common approach which uses a couple of set screw and reference cylinder, which makes the adjustment fast and easy. The assembly is simple and straightforward and it took me about 15 minutes. I like that all the screws and small components were grouped and labeled together uh, in the same bag uh, so that you can easily follow the assembly manual. As I said earlier, there are a bunch of features that set this machine apart from competition. One of these is the linear rail, which we already discussed. The second one are the limit switches that allow the machine to have a fixed origin and work in absolute coordinate, which gives the machine a touch of professionality. The third one is air assist. But the cool thing about air assist in this machine is that uh, Scalfun does not provide you simply with a nozzle and the hose, but you get an actual hair pump, which is remarkable at this price range. And despite my skepticism about it, it works remarkably well. It's very quiet, and you get clean projects from the start. So that's something very, very cool. Now, the machine offers also offline functionalities. Unfortunately, this is an upgrade that is sold separately. In addition, the machine can be extended in both directions up to nearly a square meter of engraving area. And the kit includes all the necessary components. The last thing that is worth mentioning, although it is not a future, is that they include a laser repair kit, which is cool because you don't normally get one in other machines at this price range. And inside, you even get a replacement lens, which is remarkable. As for capability, you get similar speed performance to other machines in this price range with the added accuracy given by the linear rail. The 5 watt laser module has enough power to engrave most materials and to cut some thin stuff. As usual, when I get a new machine, I run a bunch of testing so as to assess the capability of the machine. One of them is the engraving test, and so I made one uh, on birch playwood, and you can see that I get good results at 4000 mm per minute, 70 to 80% in power. Then I went ahead with my cutting test, and I cut through 2.5 mm of birch playwood, and I went through at 220 mm per minute, 95%. And here is worth noticing that you could go faster. In fact, you can go as fast as 250 and higher millimeter per minute. 
but it requires a little bit of force to detach and normally that is not what you want because it will leave rough edges and for more intricate designs uh, you might end up breaking the part. I even tried with 3 or 3.2 millimeters which is 1 8 of an inch birch plywood and as you can see it goes through at, one, at 150 millimeters per minute at 95 percent. As you can see this power is not really meant for cutting. You can cut but you're going extremely slow. If cutting is what you're looking for you'll rather go for a 10 or a 20 watt machine and that is where the S30 Pro and the Pro Max come in. By the way if you are wondering why I stopped at 95 percent power it is because 100 percent power is never a good idea because that will degrade your laser module quicker and so I always recommend working below the 90 percent power with 95 percent paying for small short uh, projects. Then I did test cutting through 3.2 millimeters black acrylic and I went through at 150 millimeters per minute 90% in two passes. Here again you could go higher in speed uh, but then you start degrading the edge finishing. Finally I did some other test and engraving uh, as well as real uh, job uh, which I will leave uh, for the end of the video. Now as for software this machine runs on a GRBL firmware and therefore it works with most GRBL based software among which we will see laser GRBL and LightParn. And the format of course will depend on the software you are using but in general you will be able to work with most raster images like PNG and JPEG, vector like SVG and G-code like uh, NC. Alright let me now cover what I like what I don't like and what I think instead should be improved. Uh, of course considering the price tag. Now one of the pros is that it is a relatively cheap uh, machine and you get a lot of things with it. I like uh, the use of linear rail as this removes this waviness that you usually find in engravings done with machine using traditional rollers. And of course it would be nice if they implement it also in the y-axis. I love the included hair pump with automatic control. It is extremely quiet and functional and it makes your project clean from the start. Finally the micro switches which allow you to work in absolute coordinate system. Speaking of which uh, now I'm going to cover something that instead should be improved. So the micro switches are an add-on to this machine. Meaning that if you look at it and you will realize yourself uh, they basically took the frame from another model from another machine and included in the package the kit which is normally sold separately for other machines. Now I can say this is something bad because still they are providing you with a kit included in the price. But the micro switches are a little bit exposed and prone to catch and I believe that sooner or later they will break much quicker than what you normally see in other machines. Plus you get some extra wiring lying around the machine. The other thing to improve is the adjustment of the laser module. Although it is simple and functional it is awkward. The two screws on the back are not easy to reach especially if you are approaching the machine from the front which is something that you are forced to do if you're using an enclosure as I do. Now some of the negative things, the things that I don't like, uh, the wiring is all over the places, especially considering the X and the Y axis micro switches which are routed also in other direction. And so this is something that they definitely need to improve. The other thing that I don't like is the missing offline functionality which in my view is a must with every machine. Yes I know uh, they include this extra kit, you can buy it and to have not only the offline functionality but also wireless control and SD card uh, reading but again this is something that should be included in default as a standard package with every machine the same way we had it for a long time with uh, 3D printers. And so now should you consider it or discard it? Well the machine comes in a really cool package you also get air assist and again you get the actual air pump so it is not some extra piece of equipment that you will need to look and buy for and that means that you are going to get very clean 
uh, engravings, very clean cuttings from your very first project with the machine. So in this regard, I think that um, if you are looking for getting your hands into laser engraving, um, or even simply if you're looking for a machine dedicated just for engraving, a 5 watt laser module uh, it has plenty of power uh, to do engravings. Then of course, look at what you're expecting to do with this machine, as there will be the S30 Pro and the S30 Pro Max, that means with higher power so that you can uh, cut faster or thicker material. And so, should you consider it? Yes, absolutely. It would be nice seeing Scalfan implementing uh, or improving this couple of points that I uh, came up with. Um, and so, yeah, I hope you found this video informative. I hope you liked it. If you have any uh, comment, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now!